Hey there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rosa and today me and my boyfriend, we're going to drive into the city, look at a few stores, maybe have some lunch. It's a nice sunny summery day so I got dressed up in a nice dress and some sandals and yeah it just feels like summer. I'm in a good mood so I decided to take you guys along with us. And yeah, let's get into our day. So for my outfit, I got on this white dress. I know I'm pretty pale, so uh, white is probably not the best color for me, but I really love this dress. It's nice and flowy, and I got some sandals on. I need to paint my nails. Um, I also have a jean jacket that if I ever get cold, I can pair it. Well, I can put it on. And my nice little bag, um, I can't remember the name of this material, but yeah, I think it would go nicely. It definitely feels like summer out, so I think this is such a nice outfit for today. And I'm about to leave home, and we're going to drive into the city. She loves sitting in the sun. Yeah, she loves sitting in the sun. It makes her warm. So I hope you enjoyed the scenery that I showed you on the way to the city. And our first stop was at Decathlon, which is a sports store. It sells anything from sports equipment um, to clothing, everything that is sport related. Um, so it would go from soccer to horseback riding. There's even fishing equipment in this store. And we stopped here because Luis needed to get some work pants, or not pants, but shorts. And I also wanted to look at the flip-flop selection because they usually have good deals on good quality flip-flops. And as we were there, I noticed that the summer collection is out. There are a whole bunch of new bathing suits. And you'll see that as a theme at every store we go to. But it feels nice to have the sun out again. I feel like the winter was so long and my body is craving some sun. Hopefully the summer will be good.
Right after leaving Decathlon, we went to the mall, and this mall is the only mall that exists on the nine islands of the Azores, and I think it was built shortly before I came to San Miguel. I've been here for 10 years, and I think it was built a couple years before, so it's pretty recent, and it was close to noon at this time, and I was really hungry. I was supposed to show you my lunch. I planned on doing that, but... I guess I was so hungry that I forgot to show you what I ate. We ate at a restaurant inside the mall and I had a steak and so did Luis, but yeah, I guess you didn't get to see that, sorry. And we just came here to shop. I wasn't planning on getting anything, but I ended up getting a couple of things and I'll show you what I got further on into the video. Oh, and uh, you're about to see this car that was so poorly parked and i think this person did it on purpose unfortunately we do have selfish people in the world but i thought it was so funny it like sometimes you will see some people park very crooked but that one you can see it was on purpose So I just dropped Luis off at home and now I'm going to the store with my mom because she asked me to go with her and I'm going to grab a few groceries because we are having a movie night tonight and I was thinking of making a snack board um, so it won't be too much based on candies and chocolates but more like um, filling snacks, so like garlic bread, mini pizzas, you know, those types of things. I'm thinking of making some nachos. So yeah, I'm about to go to the store. Okay, so I just got home. I'm not really sure what I filmed because I'm really bad at filming in public. But I am going to show you what I got from the city. I also ended up going shopping um, in for groceries, so I'll show you that after. All right, so we went to a couple of different stores 
and I got the receipts laid out. So Luigi he wanted three pairs of he wanted some work shorts, so he got three pairs. Um, so the blue ones were 22 euros. The blue ones are more expensive. I'm not sure why. And the gray and green ones were 18 euros each. So he spent 66 euros on that. Oh, and he also bought a shirt. Yeah. This shirt is just like a tank top. 8 euros. Because he works in the sun and it's really, really hot. So he wanted tank tops to work. Then I got these flip-flops. I got a pair for him and a pair for me. They were each 13 euros on sale. Then he got me um, some all-stars, some white all-stars. And he also got me this beautiful blue dress. It was $15.99. These were $69.99, I think. Next, um, Luis got, he got two of these dress shirts, I guess you could say, what are they called? Um, they're long sleeve, but they, you can roll up the sleeves. So they're really lightweight. They're good for summer as well. They're both, they're good for both seasons, but I like the colors for summer. Um, we like this no collar style and they were having a sale where you would get two for $49.99 but I also have I also have this client discount and it discounted me nine euros so I paid a total of 42 euros next I got Another pair of flip flops. This one was from a different store. It was from Sports Zone. And this is for a gift. Then we went to Mudalpa, which is the Continent brand clothing store, I guess you could say. It's as if you were going to Walmart or Target and buying clothes is there. Here we have Continent. It's the most similar store I can think of to Walmart or Target. So. Luis got another, well, another black, he got a black tank top, and then he just got a white t-shirt that is very, very lightweight. And my nephew's birthday, nephew slash grand, uh, godson, his birthday is coming up, so I wanted to get him, I usually always get him a present, but I also like to give him an outfit. And I saw this cute Super Mario shirt, and I got these red shorts to go with it. You can see the prices there. The shirt was $9.99 and the shorts were $12.99. And for clothing wise, that is all we got. And she always, always has to show up. Okay, I'm gonna put all of this stuff away and then I'll show you what I got for groceries. Okay, here's my haul. This little side here is Casa Shea, and then the rest is all from Pingdus. So I got these Doritos, two bags, and I also got another bag over there on the side of Casa Shea, but I'll show you that after. And these were $2.34 each. So I got some popcorn and they were 39 cents. These are sweet popcorn. I already have butter popcorn at home, but I wanted the sweet popcorn. Then I got some gloves and the gloves are 89 cents for 10 pairs or not 10 pairs 10 gloves and then i got this toilet block thingy that was 170 something i can't remember the exact price here and then i also got this dustpan which was um 69 cents <sighs> then i got some red grapes uh, so the red grapes were four eleven. They were four forty nine a pound, or not a pound, a kilo. And then I got some some apples. This is Fuji apple, and it was one twenty six. I got three pears, one fifty seven, one avocado, which I don't know anything about. I bought it for the nachos, and the avocado was one forty eight. 
I paid a year and 48 cents for this avocado. That is so expensive to me, at least. I got these beautiful, beautiful red cherry tomatoes. And those cherry tomatoes cost $1.52. They were $4.22 a kilo. I got this green onion. Yeah, I think that's what it's called, green onion. And that was $1.45. Pretty expensive because we usually have this growing in my mom's backyard. Anyways, then I got this red bell pepper, which was $1.87. And I got the orange bell pepper, which cost me 3 euros and 5 cents. Did I pay 3 euros for this orange pepper? Gosh, that is so expensive. It's crazy. Got these red onions, and the red onions were 145. Cheap. That's good. Then I got this Mexican um, dry mix, and that was 199. Or yeah, 199. Uh, so I want to see if that is similar to taco mix. I'm not sure. Taco seasoning, I guess you could say. I'm not sure. I'm going to try to test that out. I'll let you know. But you probably have taco seasoning where you live. So this is probably not necessary. We don't have taco seasoning. So I wanted to see if this was similar. I usually just make my own taco seasoning. But we'll try that for today. I also got some bubble water, lemon bubble water, which was $2.59. And then I got this passion fruit drink. Uh, this passion fruit drink is delicious. If you ever come to Portugal, you have to taste it. Um, and that was $1.69. I got a box of beer because Louise requested for me to bring some home. We didn't have any more at home. And that box of beer was 13 euros and something cents. Right after that, I got these little snack. Um, this is blood sausage and this is chorizo. If you don't know what that is, they're traditional Portuguese sausages. And that was $2.99. I got this Greek yogurt, which was $1.82. These olives were $1.99. I got two bags of ground beef. 346 right here and the other one was 278 I already told you about the yogurt then I got some prosciutto I don't know how to say that prosciutto I guess you could say prosciutto and that was yes prosciutto was 340 okay so that was everything I also got like a bag of cookies for my my nephew um, and the total was 57 euros and 65 cents Yes, very expensive. We're not going over that again. I am just going to forget about how much this was. <sighs> Next, at Cosache, um, here is the second bag of, or the third bag of tortilla chips. I've never tried this brand, but they didn't have a Dorito tortilla chips at Cosache, so I just had to work with what they have. Um, I think it was 99 cents. Then I got the energy drinks at Luigi Legs. I got eight of the apple apple melon flavor uh, i got two of the red bull copycat two pineapple and coconut and two strawberry and cream flavor and i think they were 49 cents each if not 59 cents um next i got this cream cheese well, it was one something i got this little lime for the talk ta not tacos nachos this candle was 199 so expensive for a candle. Move, kitty. I got this shirty sabon bear thingy. If you don't know what that is, it's where people here in Portugal, we put the sausage here, some alcohol, we light it on fire, and it cooks the sausage. It's very cool. If we end up doing that tonight, I will show you. If not, I'll show you in a different video. I didn't have one of these at home, and now I do. I got two boxes of these granola bars, it's chocolate kind for Luigi. It's no more than $1.99, close to that probably. I'm not sure exactly what the price is. I got three little boxes of heavy cream. This was $1.89 for the three. Then I got this dusting, this po, uh, po, 
dust rag, I guess you could say. I like to use this to clean wood with my wood cleaner. So that's why I got a new one. Got this aloe gel, aloe vera, aloe gel. So yeah, this is just because Luis works a lot in the sun. He sometimes comes home burnt. Even with sunscreen, he doesn't use sunscreen. Men are very stubborn, I guess you could say. And I just got some more body cream because one of mine are going out. I like to keep one in the bathroom and in my bedroom. <sighs> oh, and I didn't mention the the cheese. This one was $5.21. It's $10.29 a kilo. And I got some... How would you say it? It's um garlic and parsley cheese okay that's everything i spent 30 something euros at casa Shea. overall today i spent a lot of money but it's just one of those days we don't eat money as people say here in portugal so i am just getting started prepping for my nachos and I still can't believe I paid 3 euros for this orange bell pepper. This made me really conscious about how much I actually spend on food. And I think from now on I am going to be more mindful of prices. I've always tried my best to save money on food. But to be honest, I like good quality food and that's why I don't mind spending a little bit more to have something that tastes a little bit better but three euros for a bell pepper no way I am going to start to be more mindful about that and these cherry tomatoes I need to tell you how beautiful the vibrant red was I show you right now as you slice in the tomatoes beautiful I love ter cherry tomatoes. I prefer it 10 times more than a normal tomato. Partially because it's sweeter and it's, it's to me, it has more flavor. But that's preference. And I just show you, I stuffed some tomatoes inside of the bowl for the board I will be making in a little bit. And then I chop up a half of a red onion. For my tacos as oh not my tacos why do i keep calling them tacos nachos <laughs> this all of this prep that i'm doing right now is for the toppings for my nachos and the these things i called them green onions when i was showing you my haul from the grocery but i think these are called chives and not green onions in Portuguese, we call it cebolinho, which is kind of like, um, if you were to literally translate it, it would be like small onion. I don't know. Translations are weird. And my brain sometimes struggles to think of how to translate certain words because, you know, I used to think only in English, but now I'm thinking in both languages. So for me, it is harder to process when I try to translate things. I have to like take a minute to think about it sometimes. And now I'm getting started on some bacon and this is not for the nachos. This is for my dip that I made. And I just made this random recipe that I found on Pinterest. And to be honest, it wasn't the best dip that I've tried in my life. So I don't think I'll be making this dip again, but I shared it with you nevertheless, and maybe you would like it. So while that bacon was frying in a bowl, I added in a container of cream cheese, half a container of more cream cheese, but this time it had herbs in it, and then I added in some Greek yogurt because the recipe called for sour cream, and since we don't have sour cream here in the Azores, I substitute it with the Greek yogurt and then I added about half a cup of mayonnaise. I definitely was not following the recipe for measurements. I was kind of going with the flow and then I added in probably a cup of cheese. I just shredded this cheese myself. This is flamingo cheese. This is the cheese that um, 
Portuguese people used to put on sandwiches. I don't think I remember seeing this cheese when I lived in Canada. I added then some of that Mexican blend seasoning mix and the chives that I chopped up. Mix that all well. Oh yeah, and the bacon. The bacon that I was frying, it finished frying and I added it in. Mixed it, blended it all together and then I put it into a glass dish so it could melt in the oven. Like I said, it wasn't the best dip I had in my life. Don't think I'll be making it again. But I decided to leave it in the video because it was something I did that day. And I'm going to show it to you when it's done. There you go. And I just added more chives on top just to decorate. It was good. Don't get me wrong, but it was not my favorite. So we are going back to the nacho prep and in that same frying pan with the grease from the bacon I just added in some ground beef and this ground beef I will be doing something very simple I'm just adding some salt in that Mexican seasoning blends and I'm gonna cook it up so we can use it as a topping for our nachos I decided not to go overboard when making these nachos on the toppings because I did that once and it was kind of um, overwhelming when we ate it. It was too much. Um, so this time I did just a few toppings and let me tell you, it tasted so good. I really enjoyed these nachos. So here I start layering the chips and I started off with the Banderos brand and it was good. It doesn't taste the same as the Dorito, Doritos brand but um, it still tasted good. And I, at first I started putting the chives and the onions on only one side because I thought that my, sister's, my sister in law's boyfriend would be eating the nachos and he doesn't like onions. But uh, she then told me that he wouldn't be eating the nachos, so I just added onions all everywhere on top. And yeah, you can see I mixed the chips and let me tell you, I really enjoyed these nachos. I left the tomato for when it was, um, when it came out of the oven because I did put these in the oven so the cheese could melt. And I didn't want the tomatoes to cook, so I left that for last. And while I put these nachos in the oven, I started to prepare my charcuterie board. So the plan for this charcuterie board was to have some filling snacks. Um, we did not have dinner that night. I decided not to make dinner and concentrate on having some more finger food so we could fill ourselves up and not feel hungry. After eating these snacks, I cooked up some mini pizzas, frozen mini pizzas um, in the oven. I also made some garlic bread and then I added four serving bowls, some cherry tomatoes, some olives, some mozzarella balls, and some grapes. You know, the traditional things that you would see on a shakuri board. I added in some flavored crack crackers. These crackers were bacon flavored. They're by the brand Tuk, and then I roll up some prosciutto. Okay, prosciutto. I do not know how to say this in English. I cannot remember. If you translate it on Google Translate, it will just be called ham, and I don't think this is called ham in English because it's cured meat. I, I can't remember the name of this. If you know what this is called in English, leave it down in the comments below. Maybe it is called ham and I'm just tripping out. I don't know. I also rolled up some salami and after rolling up my salami, I added in the garlic bread and then I had a spot to fill so I did not feel like chopping up cheese or anything like that so I just filled it up with some more tortilla chips for whoever would want to eat the chips without the toppings 
from the nachos and I also had like a bowl of salsa to serve it with so yeah that's um the charcuterie board that I made this is completely free you can get so creative with the um, charcuterie boards and that is what makes it so much fun I love making charcuterie boards and I think it's really fun to have at you know gatherings or any parties i first made my i made my first shakuri board like two years ago and ever since i couldn't stop making these this, to me it's just so much fun it's especially fun when you make theme shakuri boards like halloween theme or christmas theme i enjoy making these things if you could not tell <laughs> So, I'm finishing up this board, and next you will be seeing me make chouriça bombeiro. Chouriça bombeiro is a traditional way to cook chouriço here. Chouriça is a Portuguese sausage, and people put it on top of that clay thingy. It's made out of clay. I guess you could say it's ceramic. And... So you can see me putting the shuris on top of it and then I am just going to squirt some alcohol on it. It has to be cooking alcohol. It can't be disinfecting alcohol. Um, and then we just catch it on fire with a lighter. Preferably a long lighter so you don't burn your hand. You have to be careful with this because it catches on fire as you can see. And it's so fun to watch this cook. It takes just a few minutes because it's hot, you know, it's directly on top of the fire. And then eventually I flipped it and just look how beautiful it's becoming. Um, I love eating shuris this way. It's so fun. If you ever come to Portugal, uh, some restaurants do it for you. So if you ever have the opportunity to try it, you should. And here is the layout for tonight. We really enjoyed these snacks. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and accompanying me on my day. And if you like these type of videos, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you like my content. And until next time, bye.